I'm here today with Duncan Sarkis and Joe Blossom from The Demolition of the Century. We're going to ask them a couple of questions about the show. So, Duncan, how did you come up for putting your novel to music? I wrote a lot of the novel while listening to the music that, that Joe is going to play in the piece. made so much sense to, to work with a, with a musician who could interpret those same songs. I think it's a very unique show. I, I think it, 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 I, I always personally love watching writers uh, perform their own work and perform their stories. I hear Ernie start banging the, the windows of the van furiously. Poor old Ernie has lost his consonants. All he's got left are vowels, and when he sees the beach, he starts thumping the window and, and yelling. <laughs> Shut him up, Margie Elves. But he's going nuts watching the ocean out there. He wants the water, I say. Let him see the water. But the van keeps driving. Cruel, heartless bastards, I say. But I'm drowned out by Ernie yelling. Whoa! The great things about doing this sort of stuff is that you get to you get to get under the hood and look to see how these songwriters actually have done their craft. And for me as a songwriter, that's always interesting to do. the book it's a great introduction to the book so um, and I think that because it twists and turns and when I read it I had no expectation of where it was going to go. He can't feel it but he sees that his leg is at a funny angle and, and then he sees this this big big axe and, and the beautiful brown horse watches as his, his best friend in the whole world puts an axe into his leg. It's very sort of performative and it takes you on a real uh, a very strong journey uh, and it's like a puzzle to try and solve. 